Hey guys, this is Dom or the Freestyle Cinema, and because I was trying to upload a tutorial yesterday, it fucked up, didn't do the sound, so I'm going to try and do another tutorial. This one will probably be a lot longer, and it, yeah, it's going to be a lot harder, so it's just spline masking. It's going to be based on this animation here. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty odd. Um, they've all it is is um, splines, and it's like spline masking and stuff like that. Uh, and how they've got all that uh, glitch effect on the colors is just it's an actual material. Well, it's a video material. I I downloaded downloaded it and see saw what was in it and yeah. It's just like this repetitive hue change glitch effect material that they've done on each one and they've just got the spine moving up and down. So yeah, let's head in cinema and see if it works. Alright, so just sort the layout out. Alright, um just open up simple render settings. All all mine is is Global illumination, ambient occlusion, uh, two times two, yeah, all that stuff. But I just turn off global illumination for a sec because you can't really see. Um, okay, so they're doing it, believe it or not, it's not on like a flat plane, they're actually doing it vertical. So I saw it in the, in the project file, but it doesn't really matter, it's just I'm going to stick to it being vertical. So just stretch it out a bit. Change the orientation to Z. Um, yeah. And so yeah, it's like that. Once you got that, um, just look back at it. You've got these cool shapes all interlocking. Make this weird abstract look. So they got ones like that. It's it's kind of like Tetris, but yeah, a lot cooler. Anyway, so I'm gonna try and do this just by just with a uh, couple of splines. Uh, I'm not like to do splines because last time I used them, they mess up like quite a lot. So I'm just gonna test if it works. Just look, something random. Alright, yeah, they seem to be working this time, so first we're going to draw one like that. Yeah, probably be easier if we just put in a camera. Okay, so press F4 for the front, and look here, it's like a cube that's just got bits sticking out. So we're going to do it. One what's central. Okay, so about there, there back down. I don't know how how big the dimensions will actually be for it, so I'm guessing mine will keep on messing up. But it's worth a shot. Um I think I'm messing up already. Um, okay, so it's like that. Then they got a bend around there. So I'm going to do another dot there. Push the bend up if you can. Like that. Move it. Oh, yeah, messing up. They always, they always end up doing that. There's probably a way to fix it. I'm just not that good with uh, um, spline. So instead, what I'm going to do is just go into Photoshop and do it because it's a lot better there. Okay, so while, while that's loading, we will be able to like, just scan for it and see what. See what it looks like, Aaron. Anyway, 
Um, just go on new. Uh, don't know how big to make it. Let's see, one thousand by one thousand. No, actually. Say three thousand six hundred by one thousand seven hundred. This is what I'm working to. You don't have to do it to what I'm working to. So three thousand six hundred by one thousand seven hundred. Yeah, I'm just rounding it off. It's it's not that. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. Um. Okay. So look again. It's got that. So. You want to get the pen tool, draw a line there, let's zoom in, we'll see it there. Okay, so line there, try and get it more or less straight. Then another line, just push it over so it creates that kind of shape and then all right hang on just trying to get it there you go so it's like that it's pretty hilarious um, and then and do the other side of the cube. It doesn't really matter if you get it perfectly straight, but it's, it'll look a lot nicer if you do. And just like even off the edges. Just try and get it more or less straight. Even off the edge. Um, off the edge again. It will take some time, like getting all this, all this stuff, like done. Oops. Um. But shouldn't take that long. I'll I'll probably end up skipping and showing you when I'm done, because you'll get a lot bored and it'll take you. About the same time, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me just doing all this. And I might even, I might even just leave the um, spline as a project file or the Illustrator. Right, I'll just do it like a couple, and then I'll pause it. So you kind kind of want to follow the same shape that he's doing or whoever made this is, was doing and just run it up. And I'll pause it after this one. You know, it'll take me like 20. Oops. You know, it will take me like 20 minutes. Hmm. I'm gonna get this one straight. Alright, like that. Uh, actually, it's a sharp edge up there. It'll just look so much better if you do it so there isn't sharp edges and you'll have like tiny gaps where you can actually see the floor. Like what he's had there and stuff. And sorry if I'm like sound dead tired because I am. 
I've basically woke up and it's one o'clock. Um okay. Nearly done. That one looks a bit bad, but yeah, anyway, I'll do about seven more and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. I've done one half of it and for the other half I'm just gonna flip it around so I've just coloured it in black and you know. Alright, I think look. Well plays it down for a second there. Anyway, um Okay so now once you well you've probably just downloaded it in the description but if you're doing it properly because you're awesome um you, you'll end up with something like this if you've done it what I have um <clears throat> and just flip around so control C I mean control no right click duplicate sorry I'm just used to uh, yeah, yeah sorry I'm just used to cinema um and just delete layer one. Okay, so now you got two of them. Um, now what we do? Uh, edit, free transform. This is just for people. Of, oh wait, actually, edit, transform, flip uh, horizontally, and transform flip vertically. So end up something like that. Or just like play around with one, see if anything uh anything looks cool. You could do something like that. It's just on screen. Oh wait, it is. Um you could do something like that and then just neaten them up by making making them a little bit more uneven. Yeah, right. You could just do this. So, get the magic wand tool, hit that one, delete it, Control D to deselect, and just like layer it there, and just finish it off with stuff like more stuff. So, let's get yeah, um, let's get pen tool again. No. Try and leave some gaps so you can actually see the ground and I'll make it look a lot better. No. There. As you can see I'm not doing it perfect. Which is I'm, I'm trying to. I'm not just like in a rush or anything. But um if you plan on it. I'm not because this is just for tutorial purposes. If this is doing it for an actual animation, I'd easily spend half an hour to an hour just working on the spines. But let's just try and finish this one. Done it too low, but looking okay, at. Yeah, that'll have to do. Um and just gonna do one more somewhere. Hmm. I'll do another one there. Okay, so English. Alright now. There is probably so much more of an easier way of doing this. Like I said, I'm not the best. Um, not the best to do Photoshop. I know some people who I probably could have got to do this for me, but will be the fun in that way. Eh? Well, uh, 
same guy. Selection to so select them and go fill tool. Like that. Hmm? No, oh, don't know, I don't know. Okay, so do that. And I'm just going to zoom in on this. This looks a bit weird. Let me just quickly cut this off. Mm, nearly done. I hope I'm actually drawing something. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't drawing something on mine. Um, right, let me just try again. There you go, drawn something now. I'm not using, I don't have a Wacom tablet or any other kind of tablet. I was thinking of getting one, but. I, I know I would use it, but I think I would only use it for specific things like spines and stuff where it would have probably came in handy now. It's just you get a bit tedious and stuff. Alright, so I just got that. Click on there. And. Right. Oops. Check all the paths are deleted. Yeah. Film screen. Okay, so. Wait, what's all that stuff? No, I'm um, So, yeah, that's basically the uh, mainframe thing done. I probably could have used Vex tool and stuff, but. Meh, I don't mind. Um, okay, so press Ctrl or Command if you're on a Mac, I think. Um, and click on the little image next to the layer name in the eyeball and click it on and then hold shift I think Did that work? wait oh uh, yeah just merge them um, click on the top layer above it merge down so it turns into one and then click on the little image so you highlight all of it just fill it in just in case I missed any out. Because no bucket selected. Oh. Yeah, it looks looks right. Okay, so control D. I mean control click. Um you wanna go to the marquee tool, I think it is. Oh, wait. Lasso tool, whatever. Um and you want to go make work path tolerance 2 2.0 ok and then it just draws a line around everything like what I was doing with the um, pen tool but I just filled it in so it was easier for me to actually see what it would look like ok so once you've done that go file Export path to Illustrator work path. Let's just call this spine tot glitch. And just because I'll be able to find it quick, let's just call it ah. Right, so once you've got that, 